Welcome to another video, Walk on the Wild Side, and I'm here in a very rainy Blackpool. It is, oh, it's miserable today, absolutely miserable. Couldn't be any different to what it was the other day when I was on the promenade and all those blue skies. It's just like Manchester weather today. Anyway, I'm close to Blackpool Victoria Hospital, and what I want to do in this video is take you on a quick scootle around the hospital. Now, I'm going to have a drive round because it's so wet and my camera is not waterproof, so we'll have a drive round and we'll check out what's going on. They're doing some demolition and they're also doing a bit of work around there, so we'll check it out, shall we? And I'll also tell you a little bit about the history of Blackpool Victoria Hospital. Yeah, so I am here in Blackpool. I'm on Winnie Hayes Road and I'm just outside this shrine here. Check this out here. I always thought this was the church. Yeah, like a little uh, shrine building here. Check out this here. This is the... Uh, the board here, Shrine Safe for Blackpool, Historic Chapel. We'll fully restore this shrine, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't think it's uh, been looked after for quite a while, but uh, it is very unique. Look at this. And this is just up the road from the hospital. I'll just show you where the hospital is. So we're looking down Winnie Hayes Road now. There's a hospital down there. And I'm going to take a drive round and we'll have a look what's going on, shall we? Okay, so I'm now heading down Winnie Hayes Road here in Blackpool towards the hospital. It was built in 1894 and it was called the Blackpool Hospital and it was renamed Victoria four years later. So, so it was opened on the same year as the tower. How about that? We're just going past the a and &E. I think that's A&E in there. That's A&E there, yeah, yeah. So I'll take you right round the hospital and I'll uh, show you what's going on. There's quite a lot of work going on around the other side. Wait till you see what's going on. We're just coming up to, that's the main entrance down there. That's the main entrance to the hospital there. We're just going past the multi-storey car park, which is a fairly recent development here at the hospital, the, the multi-storey. And now, just coming around the other side, we can see these blocks here. These are all accommodation for the nurses and the doctors and all the other workers. Here, there's a lot of accommodation, but there's also quite a lot of private um, rentals around here. This is a very posh area, Blackpool. This we're very close to Stanley Park, of course, and uh, it's quite an upmarket part of town. So you get quite a lot of probably consultants that live in some of the large houses around here that rent some of these houses. We're just coming round the back end now, and. We're just coming around the back of the cardiac centre. They've got a specialised cardiac centre here at Blackpool, Victoria Hospital. Probably get a better view of that when I come back. What I'll do is I'll drive around this way and then I'll come back the other way so you can see another angle. But this is where there's a lot of work going on down here. There's a lot of work going on here at Blackpool, Victoria Hospital. And I'm told that there's a Nightingale ward going up down here, which kind of puzzled me a little bit. Yes, a Nightingale Ward, I believe. Someone told me that there's a Nightingale Ward going up right here. Now, they are building something here. It looks sectional, kind of, sort of semi-permanent. And, yeah, there's a lot of work going on here. Now, this is the section here now where the old Parkwood Mental Health Facility used to be right here, and they demolished that. Can you see there? That's where Parkwood used to be. Right there, yeah, that was the old... And that moved... All the mental health was moved to outer town. You know where Little Martin Windmill is? That's where all the mental health moved to. It moved to the harbour facility at where Little Martin Windmill is. I think a tree came down over there. Can you see that there? A tree came, came down. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm now just coming on to East Park Drive and we're going to drive up this way and we'll get to see the front of the hospital here. So this is the old part of the hospital now on this side. If you've ever been in Blackpool Victoria Hospital, you want to go in to see the corridor because the corridor is huge. It must be half a mile long in there. If you go in there, go into where the old A&E is and walk down the corridor. <laughs> it takes a long time to get to the side. It is one big, long, straight corridor. You've got to go in and see it. You know. um, <clears throat> so there you go. I'm going to come round now. <clears throat> 
I'm going to turn around this roundabout and we're going to go back and I'm going to go, I'm going to end up going a slightly different way just to show you a little bit more. So we're seeing some of the properties around here, very kind of expensive part of town around here. We're just going past that uh, shrine on the left there that I showed you before. So I'm going to go a different way around now and we'll get to see a little bit more from the other side. So I'm just turning in here now where the old this is where the old a and e used to be just in here and then i'll drive around that road again the other way so we're now just coming back onto the main road again see those houses over there very expensive houses here in blackpool yeah so blackpool victoria hospital is a massive hospital i mean when it was first built in 18 when it first opened, should I say, in 1894, it, well, it, it was probably tiny compared to what it is now. It's an absolutely sprawling hospital now with all these different uh, sections. There's an old part and there's a really old part. I think the old part is where the, you know, the corridor is. A big corridor is in the old part of the hospital. That's original to the hospital, yeah. So I'm going to turn left here. Just over there on the left hand side is the golf course, Blackpool Municipal Golf Course, Stanley Park Golf Course. One half of the golf course is on that side of the road. And just on the other side of the golf course is Salisbury Woodland or Woodland Gardens. And uh, that's quite a nice little um, part that you can walk around. It's actually a really nice perimeter around the hospital. It's very, very wooded, very leafy. So we're getting another view now of the works going on up here. Lots of work. Look at that big crane there. Wow, it's all going on here in Blackpool, isn't it? And there's this uh, Nightingale ward, the building there. See? See what I mean? Yeah. And now we get a view of the, the front of the cardiac centre here. Massive, massive building. Lancashire Cardiac Centre, it's got on the sign there. So now we're coming around the perimeter road the other way. See, the gardens are really, really tidy at the hospital. They are really good around the perimeter. So we're actually following the golf course. The golf course kind of snakes all the way around the hospital, this part of the golf course. So, uh, yeah. So we're now coming round to the main entrance again, which is a bit like an airport. You know, when you go into this entrance here now it's like going into an airport i'm telling you it's they've got uh, costa coffee in there and wh smith and you know all that sort of stuff now we're now coming back round where these accommodation blocks are for the the workers there's quite a lot of these it's like a little town in itself really isn't it yeah and i'm now going to come back onto the Winnie Hayes Road down here now and then we'll go past a and &E again we get to see this from a different angle yeah so a and &E is just on the left here and I'm now coming back up to This, this road here which is called Wind Park and this is where the old A&E was just up here. Lots of people around in luminous clothing, lots of work going on like I said. Anyway so there you go that was Blackpool Victoria Hospital, a little drive round and just to tell you what's going on and a little bit of history as well. Anyway I hope you liked the video, if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I will see you again on the next one.